In this demonstration, I will show you how to create drawing layouts in a variety of ways. Drawing layouts, also called paper space, control how your drawing will appear when plotted by addressing issues like plotter settings, paper size and orientation, title blocks, viewports, and any additional geometry for the drawing sheet. Plotting is a vital step in the process of communicating your design, and the use of layouts is an important part of preparing for plotting. The easiest method for creating a new layout is by using the default values. If you use AutoCAD's Create New Layout option, the layout will contain default values for plotter settings and paper size already defined for your plotter. Notice that my new layout is named Layout 3, since layouts are named consecutively and Layout 1 and Layout 2 already exist. You can view and modify these details in the Show Drawings and Layouts dialog box. To add more control to the settings applied to a new layout, you can create a new layout using the From Template option. Your template choices will include those provided by AutoCAD as well as any you've configured yourself to meet your specific needs. Here, I've configured an architecturally oriented layout template for use in this tutorial, giving me complete control over all layout facets. If a desirable layout already exists in the drawing, you can create a new layout by duplicating the existing layout. Here, I've made a copy of Layout 1. A new layout is created identical to the existing layout in every way. I now open a second drawing. Both open drawings and their layouts can be viewed in the Show Drawings and Layouts dialog box. I can easily switch between any of the layouts. Layouts are a quick way to control the appearance of plotted drawings and help to create standardized hard copy. AutoCAD makes the use and management of layouts flexible and easy to understand.